Hello and welcome back to Carlisle times two. This is the big Carlisle and today we will be taking on another chimps. Let's see what we're going to do today. Let's go for, let's see, let's have a fun one here. Why don't we go for Candy Falls? So we'll go in here, let's hit chimps. All right, let's see what we've got. Now, this is another map that we can use Sauda on. Now, you guys know that I absolutely love Sauda. She's not the best for every map, but for a lot of these maps, especially the, the first, uh, first level, the basic one, she is super fantastic. So let's get rocking and rolling. I'll go ahead and take it off of auto start for right now. I put it on auto start, I'm sorry. Here we go. And she gets mean on these. And of course, with Sauda, I always like to include a tax shooter. So we're going to bring one of these up here in just a moment. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Go ahead and speed this up just a little. Almost there. We finish this round, we should be good. So now we're going to drop this little tax shooter right there because it is a good complement to her. And so, of course, we're going to bring this up to a 202. Now we'll go for faster shooting in just a moment as soon as we get there. There we go. One more, even faster shooting. Might take one extra round. And there we go. All right, next we're going to save up for our ninja. Almost there. And come on, come on. Here we go. Ninja time. So we're going to stick our ninja right here. And we're going to take it up to a 301. So, Ninja Discipline. Sharp Shurikens. We'll do a Seeking Shuriken next. And then we'll take it up to Double Shot. Almost. This one's a little higher. Go up to 920. we we'll get there in just a moment. There we go. Next, we're going to grab ourselves an alchemist. And we're going to put our alchemist right here. There we go. And we're going to do a 320. Here we go. Next will be Perishing Potions. And finally, Berserker Brew. Almost there. There we go. Now we're going to go back to our ninja and we're going to go ahead and take this up to a 401. Should hit this around 35, 36. Takes a minute to get there. Okay, we're getting close. We're at level 34 right now. Here we go. 35 and... There we go. So level 35 should be able to bring it up the last one. Now we're going to go to the Alchemist and do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of auto start so we can watch at level 40. Of course, level 40 is when you see the first a big balloon come through. So here we go, 37. We'll get up to the end of 38 roughly 
uh, to be able to get our Berserker Brew. Okay. Now 38. There we go. There we go. All right. And now we're just going to save. Okay, here we go. Now what you want to do when you start level 40 is immediately hit Sauda's ability. Boom. There it goes. And you see it just stops it. Now we'll go over here to our attack shooter, bring it up one more. And then we're going to take it to a 402. Go ahead and put it back on auto. There we go. Next we're going to drop down a spike factory. Let's put this about right there. A long reach, smart spikes, put it on smart. Go to bigger stakes. Right now we're going to take it to a 302 for the moment. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on, take it off auto start for just a moment so you can see. Okay, we get there. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a monkey village. Place that right there. Okay, make sure, there we go. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to get monkey business, monkey commerce, and grow blocker. And we're going to get ready for a second monkey village. Okay, we're going to put it in just to make sure it's got the range of the other one. There we go. We do monkey business, monkey commerce, and bigger radius. Okay, now why do we do that? We're getting the double discount. We're going to put down a helicopter next. And to make sure you leave just enough room to stick that helicopter in there. Hopefully I did. Oh my goodness. Now maybe I have to stick it right here. Let's see. There we go. So now we're going to do a two, zero, three. Okay, so what our strategy is now is we're going to do a couple things. So let me go ahead and put it back on auto for a moment. Tell you what we want to do. So first of all, we're going to we're going to be bringing our spike factory up to a four zero two. We're eventually going to bring our helicopter or a heli heli pilot to a two zero five. Gonna go ahead and bring a radar scanner up now here. Eventually this will be Monkey Intelligence Bureau. Put jungle drums here. And now we just wait. So the biggest things we wanna do are first we want our heli pilot pilot to get to a four, I mean a two zero four, which is our Comanche defense. We're almost there. Once we get it there, then we are going to go back down to our spike factory. Okay, now we're going to head back down to our spike factory and we're going to bring this up to a 402. A little ways to go. Now, what's really great about this, again, this is a one entry point map and it also has several places where the balloons, if they get through, will have to cross back over, you know, m the same towers. So, for instance, you know, you, our alchemist and our ninja, our uh, spike factory, they can hit at about one, two, almost three points, but at least two points. So when the things go all the way around, if they make it, and some will, especially as we get up towards levels... Uh, 75 to 81, 82, you'll start to see ones try to sneak through. Okay, we're almost ready here. Going to bring our spike factory up to a four. There we go. See, one tried to get past there a moment ago. But that's why we build these really tight and close. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do 
is we're going to save up for our heli pilot. It's 34,000. So now we're just going to sit back and enjoy. Now, as I always say, <clears throat> if you're new to the game, or even if you're not, sometimes you know it can look really scary and it look like things are going to go through, and you feel compelled to use one of your, uh, you know, like for instance with Sada, use her abilities. Now in this one, at level three she has leaping sword attack, which is the two swords. And at level ten, then she gets sword charge. So you can use these if you really feel like you need to. And again, with this one, what's really nice is there's a lot of range for something to have to go through. Uh, but some of those, some of those balloons can get through really super fast. So you, you know, if it looks like it's going to, the first thing I would say is slow it down like this. You know, and then use one of Sauda's um, abilities. So here we go again. This is a waiting time, and again, newer players to the game. You know, this is where it gets a little interesting, and you're like, "Well, I think I need to put something else down. I feel I need I need more." And it may seem like that, and I know I went through that for a long time, but really, you know, if you have the right monkey towers in place and you have them in the right places, it interestingly will work itself out. And I will tell you with chimps, you're going to need to really get at least two of your monkey towers up to fives, you know, one of the paths all the way to a five. Uh, I, you know, I've tried different strategies to use fours and things like that not so successful uh, because as you get up into those upper rounds they get really super hard so you should plan on that which means that you're going to have to kind of sit back and do some waiting which is what we're doing so right now we are closing on the halfway point for a Gila pilot we're at level 73 we should hit it around 79 I say roughly around 70 level 79 give or take and we could bring these up right now, but we don't want to because, again, the Hilly Pilot is going to be so integral to what we're doing. We want to make sure that we get that up first. Okay, we're at 20,000. We got about 14,000 and some change to go. Level 75. And for those who, maybe this is your first chimps mode, see how they're trying to sneak around there? Uh, if it's your first chimps mode, you really you're going to get a lot of generation of your coins, your gold coins, between levels 80 and 90. So as you see right now, I've only used Sauda one time, her, one of her abilities, and that was at level 40. So you see this is a pretty powerful setup here. Okay, level tw okay, we're at 77 and 26, so we're getting closer. Again, if you feel like you need to use SATA, if it makes you a little more comfortable, don't be afraid to do that. Okay, we're closing in. Three thousand left. As you see, they try to get through there. In our Healy between the Healy pilot and our uh, Spike factory, you know they pretty shut it down. There we go. All right, now the big boys out. Okay, next what we're going to do, as you see, we have all these all set. Going to go ahead and take up our first monkey village to a monkey intelligence bureau. It's going to come up pretty quick. And as you see, you have the big discount because of the other village. All right. Now the fun begins. So we're at level 82. Now, what I'm going to do is, for fun, I'm going to drop down a wizard over here. And the necromancer, you know that I really love the necromancer. So we're going to do work up to a 0 to 5. We'll do fireball and wall of fire first. And then start cranking out there. So you see we need 28,000 to get our Necromancer, so we're just going to wait. And we're at level 83 right now. You see the, the coins are generating extremely fast.
Okay, we're at level 85. Let's see, nothing's going to get by. So as we're waiting, I hope everybody's having a fantastic start to their December. I know today is December 1st. Hope everybody is safe and warm. I know a lot of storm systems are uh, forming and, and starting to hammer the United States in different areas. I know here in Utah, we are, at least in my area, we just started getting a little, I don't want to call it snow, maybe a little sleet kind of looking uh, you know, particles on the ground. We're supposed to get snow today. A lot of Utah's already gotten it. I know, I know the mountains are supposed to get, I think, up to two feet or so today, which is crazy. And we've had snow fall in the mountains, you know, within about 10 miles of us, but we really haven't had snow here. Uh, somehow we've managed to, to dodge that bullet, but I do believe today is going to be the last day of that, and we're going to start getting a little snow. Okay, so now we're going to take our necromancer up. There we go. Now, at this point, you really don't have to do much more. But, you know, I like to have a little fun, try out different things. So let's try different things. You know, bomb shooters, I think, are one of my favorites for this period because, you know, when you have level 100, anything you can do to really kind of slow down the, you know, level 100 balloon, the better. So what I want to take these up to, both of these, is going to be a two four zero. It doesn't take very much. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Just look how it shreds. Nothing coming through. Here we go. So bring this up. So now you see we add a Moab uh, ability. Go ahead and do the same thing here. Move both of these to strong. Okay. And after this round we should be able to take it all the way up there we go and we should be able to do this right now here we go so now we have a second and these can be tremendously helpful with trying to slow down your level 100 balloon okay let's go ahead and wait we don't have much right now so i'll wait, maybe put another one down in just a moment You know what, though, what we'll do first is we'll put a spike factory down. Because you know what, a spike factory can be tremendously helpful. Now you see how it just crunched through that. Nothing was coming through. So we'll put a spike factory right here. Now for this one, we're going to take the middle path. There we go. And we're also going to put this on smart. And we're going to get spike storm here in just a moment at the end of this level. There we go. And see, I still haven't had to use Souda's ability except for level 40. As you see, it just crushes through. What a combination. So let's see, what do we want to do? Let's put down, what can we do for some fun? Let's put down another here. Okay, yeah, put it to strong. I have a third one. We're at level 97. Again, you see just nothing gets through this. Again, do you have to do this? No. I just like to add extra there just for fun. There's no harm in doing it. You've got it. Even with all this, you're still going to end with an amazing amount of, of uh, coins that you didn't use. Here we go. Nothing coming through. Look at that. Nothing. And what else should we do? Let's try... What else? What other kind of fun can we do here? Let's see. Let's try something different. Let's use... Hmm. Just for fun, let's throw, throw down a druid. You know, let's just have some fun. We'll do middle path here, jungle bounty. We'll do Matt thorns there. And by the way, with the druid, if you start in the middle, automatically is going to move you to strong, so you don't have to worry about that. 
Here we go. Okay, now I'm just having fun. Nothing's going through. So that was level 99. All right, so I told you. Here we go. So now what we're going to do is launch those three Moab Assassin abilities because we're going to use them again. I'm going to slow this down a little so you can see what's happening here. Now it's going to go around there. But soon as we can, as soon as we get these abilities again, we're going to launch them. One, two, three. Might even be able to get another three off. I don't think we're going to need to. There it goes. And I'm not even going to use anything else here. So the worst is over. So it's going to break it down. And then you're going to see the red. You know what, if you want to have some fun, go ahead and use Sauda's swords here. Boom. That should accelerate the reds. And of course, then the blues are going to come really quick. And you are done. You don't even have to use anything else. And there you have it. So how to easily beat chimps. You know, I hope this has been helpful. You know, let us know what you think. Let us know if you have a different strategy. And uh, definitely look forward to seeing you again. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that, sub hit that notification bell. And until next time, peace out.